I know there's a war afoot and all that, but there's a problem here at the graveyard. The corpses are climbing out of their graves. I promise this isn't my fault. I buried them all real good. No, I don't know nothing. I was just bringing Prince Adrian in here to lay him to rest in the royal crypt. But when these walking bones started popping up, I ran for it. I, I just left the prince's corpse laying out. But what was I supposed to do? It's up there a ways, outside the royal crypt. One of the prince's knights stayed there to protect him. She can be noble if she wants, but I'd rather be alive. I do feel bad, though. That's why I was thinking maybe if I could find someone to help her. If you could find a way to get all those corpses back in the ground while you're up there, I sure would appreciate that. I can't make a living if I can't get into the graveyard. Died in a battle with the Reachman, right there with King Aemon. You have to feel for the queen. First she loses her daughter, then her husband, and her son. Prince Adrian deserves a proper burial. Just maybe after the graveyard's safe again. The prince has risen. It's a miracle. What's going on here? I don't understand any of this. Last thing I remember, we were fighting the Reachmen outside North Glen. I saw my father fall. I, I tried to get to him, and then everything went black. Dame Valiri tells me that we died? Then how am I having this conversation? I mean, I... I feel different. I... I don't even think my heart's beating, but... Do you think... I mean, am I undead? But then why am I not ambling about mindlessly trying to kill the living? Isn't that what the undead do? Dame Valyrie says the gods have resurrected me, but why? Because of my bloodline? I'm sorry, this is just too much. I don't know. If the dead here are rising and this is the royal crypt, have any of my ancestors risen? Maybe they can give us some answers. Would you consider venturing into the royal crypt to find out? I know it's unlikely, but I'm hoping that if I'm alive, maybe my father is too. Maybe Dame Valeri is right. Maybe the gods are giving us a second chance. No. It's tradition for the kings of Evermore to be entombed at Banker I Garrison, so they can protect our borders for all eternity. Dame Valeri says my father lies in state there even now. Unless he's been resurrected, of course. My poor mother. I didn't even think of it. But this must have been torture for her. But to hear that I've risen, would this be a relief to her or some kind of horror? Best to figure out what's happening here. And then I will go tell her myself. No. To be honest, I only know of the kings who have been entombed down at the garrison. It's the royal crypt, though. So surely someone from my family has been buried here. I thought the gods had abandoned us, but I couldn't have been any more wrong. Akatosh, forgive my lack of faith. was built to hold royal remains, but none remain within. The remains of the royal family have vacated this place. They return to the land of living to follow the anointed and to avenge their bloodline. Prince Adrian is the anointed. He too has been blessed to rise again. Arke himself, of course. His church sits nearby. These grounds are consecrated in his name. This was foreseen. Death denied the prince from defeating Evermore's enemies, but the Anointed shall now command an army of the dead. A mortal cannot hope to understand the will of the Divine. You must simply tell him to trust the power with which he is imbued. 
His destiny will unfold as he trusts his instincts. Whatever was in the royal crypt, at least it doesn't appear to have been lethal. Tell me though, did you learn anything? Any explanation for my unexpected return to life? Then the gods do want something of me. I guess it's a second chance. A chance to redeem my father, myself. To get revenge. It truly is a miracle then. I could lead the undead here to defeat the Reachmen. The Reachmen have been dealt with? This is tremendous news. I'm not surprised to hear about the Imperials. They were attacking Southern Bankerai before, and I knew they wouldn't stop there. Perhaps now my undead army can drive them back. I don't know for certain, but when you said it, something about it just feels right. Did this voice in the crypt say anything else? That seals the deal, then. We should make preparations. I'm feeling stronger by the minute. Dame Valeria is just over there trying to figure out where the undead are coming from. Tell her what you told me. There you are. I was beginning to worry. It seems that more and more of the dead are rising every minute. Did you learn anything in the crypt? Really? Maybe he's right, talking about an undead army. But if this is his army, why are they hostile? We might have to earn their allegiance. Have you seen these blue flames in the ruins? I think they're somehow inciting the undead to violence. I do. I tried holy water on one and it seemed to do the trick. If you'll take it and extinguish a few more flames, that may help pacify the undead. After that, let's meet at the monument south by the rocks. I saw someone skulking around over there. It's a priest of R.K., but something's wrong with him. He's just completely ignoring me. I'm not sure how I might have offended him, but if the blessing on Prince Adrian comes from R.K., the priest should be able to help us. I think he's had ample time to pray at this point. With all due respect to him and to the gods, we need answers here. Will you at least see if he'll talk to you? O oh, Divine Lord, protector of the eternal balance between life and death, I beseech you, remove this dark curse from your sacred grounds. Shh! Or do you revel in the defilement of sacred law? These burial grounds are cursed, and I am pleading with Arke to reveal the source of the corruption. Unless you know the source, please, let me be. It did? That would be quite a surprise, considering Arke is opposed to undeath in all its forms. Do you think the god simply changed his mind? Why would he possibly do that? The prince has risen as well? This scenario grows more foul by the hour. What befell King Aemond and his son was tragic, but I cannot imagine it so offends Arke that he would break the natural order. I don't know. I should see Prince Adrian. That's the only way to ascertain if he's truly touched by the god. In the meantime, it might help me to commune with Arke if we stopped the dark spirits from defiling the other monuments. No. Your impatient friend here can escort me to the Prince. I need your help with the spirits defiling the monuments. Destroy the defilers, and then I will have the clarity I need. After that, meet me at the church, and we can discuss the Prince.
Don't worry. I'll take the priest to Prince Adrian. Hopefully the prince has regained enough strength to walk to the church. I don't think I can carry him in full plate, and I'm betting our friendly priest here won't be much help. Me, priest. Is it because I can control what you cannot? Your Highness, I'm sure he means no offense. Please, calm yourself. As long as he treats me with the respect I deserve, we won't have a problem. Needless to say, this behavior is more than a little disquieting. Short temper is not one of R.K.'s blessings. I will reserve judgment for the time being. But if he is corrupted... Well, let's see what unfolds. I'm out of my depth here. If it comes to blows, I can't raise my sword against Prince Adrian. But I can't stand by and watch him strike down an unarmed priest, either. This is starting to look like not such a miracle, after all. Well, the good news is the undead didn't attack us. They actually bowed to Prince Adrian. Father Quiston's not exactly impressed with that fact, though. He thinks it's a very bad sign, and he told the prince as much. Hmm. Well, we tested that out, and dripped some holy water on Prince Adrian's hand. It burned. That pretty much says it all. But Father Quiston believes there's still a chance we can remove the corruption. We saw skeletons digging up corpses and piling them up in the mausoleums as death shrines. Father Quiston believes that cleansing the mausoleums with holy water might have some effect. I'd hate to leave the prince, though. Will you go? Why do you work against me? Would you have the prince spurn this blessing? The priest fears the unknown. That is why he refuses to acknowledge the gift the prince has been given. But why do you submit to this priest's direction? Are you a coward, or do you just prefer not to think for yourself? The priest is blinded by his preconceptions of power. This is a blessing for all of Bancorai. What matter is it whether it comes from R.K. or some other source? The Prince can sense the truth. He will give himself over to it soon enough. You regard power and opportunity as corruption? Such has always been the perspective of small minds. I thought you understood, but it is clearly beyond your comprehension. Very well. 
You've chosen your destiny. I tried to stop him, but it was all I could do just to keep him from killing Father Quiston. Damn it all, what are we going to do now? The prince went into a rage. He started shouting at Father Quiston, saying this was his church and he was relieving Quiston of his duties. Then he just ran inside. We have to get in there and talk him down. The doors won't open. I don't know if he barred them or what. Maybe the priest knows another way in. I knew this would happen. If it had been anyone else, I would have put him to rest right away. What are you doing standing there? We have to get inside! No. This is the only door, and the beast has locked it from the inside. There's a spare key buried under the tree in the back. You have Arke's blessing to go and claim it. Just do it fast. in my side returns. Your prince has accepted the gift I offered. He is a visionary. He sees beyond convention. But what about you? Do you still question the value of my blessing? He suffered enough in life. In death, I am giving him the glory he deserves. I told him, by giving in to my guidance, Together we could purge this land of all our enemies. He was willing to make this sacrifice. You should honor his decision. I may not be a god, but with the strength of the prince's soul, my powers are considerable. Come, see for yourself. That certainly wasn't my finest hour, but I thought, I thought it was R.K. I thought he was giving me a second chance. There's nothing more foul than this creature's deception. It must have hailed from the depths of oblivion itself. Death. Death and destruction. It would have given me vengeance against my enemies, but it wouldn't have stopped there. It will never stop unless we stop it. Even now, I can sense the darkness inside, gaining strength again. Please, kill me. Yes, the life force inside me is evil through and through. 
Thank you for saving me, friend. I wish I could have known you when I was alive. But this will have to suffice. I am ready to die. Ready as I can be, I suppose. If you have said your goodbyes, Prince Adrian, it is time. Wait. Are you sure there's no other way? It's all right, Valeri. I accept it. And you must too. You served me in life and saved me in death. I can be at peace now. This chill. I remember it. Goodbye, Valeri. It is done. His body and soul are at rest. We should honor who the prince was in his life, not the abomination he became in death. I will leave you to your mourning. It's done then. He can now rest again. For good this time. I suppose I should be relieved, but somehow I feel like I've let him down. I did everything in my power to protect him. If I could have taken the death blow on the battlefield, I would have done it without hesitation. He should have been king. I'll return to Evermore to serve the crown. I am still a knight. It's my duty. First, though, I will do what I came here to do. I will lay the prince to rest. <laughs>